Hi everybody, if you have seen my videos before, you may already know that I like to sing karaoke. I have gone through many karaoke machines in the past, but this is the new favorite. This is the king of karaoke. This is the Dolphin SP-1800 RBT. This karaoke system is not the largest that I have, it's not the heaviest that I have, and it's not the loudest that I have. What makes it better? The 18 inch subwoofer. There are many karaoke machines on the market, some good, some not so good, but there is a depth of sound with an 18 inch subwoofer that cannot be replicated on a smaller system. I don't have full specifications for this speaker, but just visually identifying what we have here, in addition to the 18 inch subwoofer, it appears there is a horn tweeter here and on either side, we have some vents that I suspect are mid-range speakers, but I don't know for sure. All I know is this sounds good. Even though I have declared this to be the new king of karaoke machines, it is not a perfect device, and I'm going to tell you why. One of the first things that you notice is the prominent lighting system surrounding the 18-inch subwoofer, but that is not the only lighting. All of the control panel is also backlit, and I don't know if you can tell this in the video, but this is a like a smoked translucent panel here. The light from the control panel illuminates this almost as if the handle is backlit. And on the side here, we have accent lighting. And on this side, we also have accent lighting, except that it's broken. Flaw number one. As long as we are looking at the back of the unit, there is not much to comment on, except this is where you put the power cord, and this is the FM radio antenna. It's a telescopic antenna. It's not that long, but it does the job. The SP1800RBT has an enormous handle here in front, a handle on the back, a handle on each side, and a trolley handle that you can pull up. I don't know if you can see them clearly, but there are small wheels here. These wheels, in fact, are almost too small to be useful. They don't work very well on the carpet. Uh, they work okay on a hard surface like a concrete or hardwood floor, but I wish they were a little bit larger. I'm going to, I don't know if that's a flaw or something for the wish list, but either way, it's not perfect. I would also like it if this handle was a little bit sturdier. I haven't had any problems with it, but it just seems a little flimsy, and it's also a little bit difficult to get, get up and down. This system ships with one wireless microphone. It's very easy to pair. You simply turn it on, and it pairs automatically. It is highly directional, so you have to sing directly into the center, but overall, I would say it's a high-quality signal. There is another flaw, and I'm not sure what to do about it, or even if anything can be done about it. There is a slight hiss to the speaker. Doesn't matter if the volume is on minimum or maximum, the hiss doesn't seem to get louder. I, I, I don't know what that's about. And if you are playing music, you really don't notice it, but if, you are, if, it's, if nothing's playing, you definitely notice it. Nearly all Bluetooth speakers have a rechargeable battery. Most of the time, it is a lithium-ion battery. This speaker has a lead-acid battery. What difference does that make? I'm not sure. They say that it is a 7-amp-hour battery, which technically, I think, is 7,000 milliamp-hour battery. That's how they're, they're normally measured. But... What I do know is this battery seems to last forever because I've been using this for hours and the battery is still on full. If you are having a karaoke party, I am not telling you to leave the cord at home. You should definitely bring the cord, but you may not need it. If you are bringing this camping or on a boat or some other device where you have a 12 volt power source, this can accept 12 volts to either recharge its battery or just use it as main power. The SP1800RBT is only 100 watts, but with an 18-inch subwoofer, that sound is going to travel. It's plenty loud for me, but if that's not loud enough for you, you can pair two of these speakers 
using the Dolphin WaveSync technology. That allows you to wirelessly connect two speakers and double the power. This is the control panel. It might look complicated, but it is actually easy to use once you get used to it. Let's start with this panel right here. This is your mode select. It allows you to choose between the U drive port, TF card slot, SD card slot, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, or your FM radio and Bluetooth source. This is the wave sync button. If you happen to have two Dolphin SP1800 RBT speakers, you can wirelessly connect them and double the power. Now I think that only works for Bluetooth sources and it will not amplify your voice to both speakers. These three buttons are your normal Bluetooth speaker buttons, play pause, previous track and next track. The repeat button only affects your MP3 sources. It allows you to choose between repeat all or repeat one. This disconnects you from the current Bluetooth source and puts you back into pairing mode. This is the LED mode switch. I don't know how many modes there are and I couldn't really describe them. Uh, I know that they're different. They seem to be reactive to the music, although not directly. I don't know if there's some delay in response or what, but I, I could see that things were different, but I couldn't predict why or how. Now, I think this is mic priority. However, I could not tell any difference whether I had it on or off, so I don't know what that does. This is the mic high and mic low. That allows you to set the tone of your microphone source. And this is your microphone volume. So you independently control the microphone volume from your main volume. This dial allows you to control the amount of echo you want in your microphone. In addition to the microphone port, you also have a guitar port, and this is the guitar volume. As you can see, we have a six band equalizer, but in addition to that, we also have a bass boost dial. I could not find a reason to use that. It is available, I did try it, it does work, but with an 18 inch subwoofer, you really don't need to boost the bass. This is the input for your 12 volt source. And that's really all there is to the control panel. It looks complicated at first, but it's easy to use. I did want to remind you that there is a FM radio built into this thing. When you go into the FM radio option, hit the play button, it will automatically scan the radio spectrum and set presets for you. After that, you can simply go from preset to preset with the forward and back buttons, and the radio works really well. They do include a remote control. It doesn't replicate the entire functionality of the control panel, but you can select your source and control playback. This is the user manual. It is pretty sparse, but that might be all you need because it is an easy system. One thing I like is the four steps that say it all. Plug in the device accordingly and insert two AA batteries into the microphone. Turn on the device and the microphone. Select the playback mode of your choice. Sing it loud. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. We have a diagram of the machine along with a key as to what everything does. And some more detail for our Bluetooth wave sync, MP3 functionality, and the FM radio. I did want to point out that there is a mistake on the remote control diagram, there is no equalizer function on the remote. Other than that, the manual seems pretty accurate. What do I think of the Dolphin SP1800 RBT? It is an easy to use system. It sounds great. This has so many options. It is the king of karaoke, but it is a flawed system. I'm not going to give this a five out of five star rating because I want Dolphin to make an even better system, and I wanna test that one. I'm going to give this a four out of five star rating. Thanks for stopping by.